Okay, so this problem involves a bullet that is fired. Let's draw a bullet here. That is fired with some velocity unknown at a block of wood. And here is the ground. Uh, the block of wood is touching the ground, <laughs> although it doesn't look like it here. And the block of wood travels a distance of 11 meters before coming to rest because there is friction along the ground here. Okay? Now, the uh, coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface here, mu, is 0 0.28. And the block of wood is 1.24 kilograms. Now the mass of the bullet is 15 grams, okay, which is equal to 0 0.015 kilograms, okay. And what else do we know? That's about it. The question is the question is basically asking us what is the original velocity of the bullet? That's what we need to find. Okay. So, in order to do this, we need to realize it that really it's a two-step process, okay? First of all, yes, we do have conservation of momentum. Okay, that's that's the first part. But the second part is that once all of the momentum of the bullet is transferred to the block, now the block has a new velocity, as a couple velocity, and with that initial velocity, the block slides 11 meters, and all of its initial kinetic energy is dissipated or transferred to friction or heat energy. So let's write down this uh, energy equation also. I can say, all right, well, look. Uh, oops, that's supposed to be an F. I can say, all right, final initial energy equals final energy. What is the initial energy? It's kinetic energy. And the final energy of the block or of, this, of the um, system is the heat lost to friction. So I can say work gone to friction. So here I can say one half mv squared and that's going to equal force times distance being force of friction. Okay? So that's, that's, that's one side of the problem. The other side of the problem over here is to say, all right, well, how many masses do you have initially? You have the mass of the bullet, the velocity of the bullet, that's the initial momentum of the bullet, and then uh, originally the block of wood, we'll call that W, that's not moving at all. F but finally, both of them are moving, as there are now a couple. You see, although I would say if you don't do this if you don't add the two masses in this case it's not going to make a big deal of a difference to the final answer and the reason is because 1.24 is so much bigger than 0 0.015 that even if you don't do it properly you'll still pretty much get the right answer but understand that that's only in a case where in this case the velocity the, the mass of the bullet sorry is is so small imagine if it was a very big bullet then if you forgot to add them like this, you'd get it, the answer wrong. So we're going to say this is now the velocity of the couple. Uh, that's a C there. So uh, that velocity of the couple now translates into here. Okay? Because that's the new kinetic energy that the that the system has, uh, that the couple has. So, 
what should we do here? What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for this variable here. Okay, and so let's do a little bit of algebra. Let's say VB equals MB plus M wood VC divided by NB. Well, we know all the masses, but we don't have VC. Let's calculate what VC is from the conservation of energy equation. And let's say to ourselves, uh, remember force of friction is equal to mu times the normal force, which in this case is mu mg, because it's a horizontal surface. So let's solve for V here, this V above, and that's going to equal two times force of friction, which is mu mg times d divided by m. You see, because there's that m and the force of friction has a mu mg, so we can cancel that m and that m, and we get, and by the way, that's v squared, and so we're going to get v is equal to the square root of 2 g and a mu, sorry I forgot a mu there, I'll just put it afterwards, d. Okay, so 2 mu g d m's cancel out and that's my vc, my couple velocity. So let's plug in some values here, 9.8 me meters per second squared and mu was 0.28, correct, 0.28, and d, I think, was 11 meters. So what do we get for the v? Get my trusty RPN calculator, 2 enter 9.8 times, 0.28 times, 11 times, and now take the square root, and I get uh, 7.8. 77 seven meters per second. Okay? And now I can now plug that value into here. I can now plug this value into here, and th I've pretty much solved the problem. Now we're going to go 0 0.15 plus 1.24 times 7.77 divided by 0 0.015. And the answer is, let's go that, and then let's go 0 0.015, enter 1.24 plus times 0 0.015 divided by. And the answer is, 650 meters per second. Okay? So that's the initial velocity of the bullet, and that's what we wanted to find. Okay? Well, hope you enjoyed the problem. See you next time.